black women leaders would be our biggest accomplices if not for a great deficit in the leadership numbers. There's just not enough of us. That being said, this is a challenge. We pretty much know who's in our department. We know who's in our business unit. We know who's in our company. We can pretty much count them on our hands. And as we go through that leadership pipeline, as we start to ascend, the numbers thin because we're either pushed out, we are either walking out ourselves, or we're being pulled out. That's one issue that I'm covering when it comes to home life and the partners that we choose. You have to stay tuned for that one. And yes, please. But there's an incredible murkiness and who black women can trust. This becomes a trust issue here, people. And this is what's driving the lack of happiness. There's a lack of trust. How do you know which white guy you can turn to? It takes time. That's that's the one thing. We know that some of them are allies. We know that some of them can do the dirty work. We also know that there are people of color who are more than happy to do the dirty work for them. Who has had that problem before? I've had that. Vanessa says it's so true. Trust is such a big issue. Absolutely. Now, the other point is this. There's a push-pull between those helping us and those hindering us. And this can leave us disillusioned. Wow. Yeah, I don't know about you, but this this sounds a little bit depressing, but I got to tell you, there's a way around it. And that means we're going to have to double down as black women looking out for our sisters. And we know that's challenging. It can be high risk. But you know what? Transformational leaders run to the risk and there's more good in it than bad outcome. If you know your value, and you're willing to stand in your power and stand up for your sisters. So let's start talking solutions here.